guys, it's Jessica. So you may have noticed I changed my channel name. It includes puzzles in it. This has just become my incredible latest obsession. I'm still going to be posting some crafting videos, painting mostly, maybe a little bit of quilting and other fabric art, but you'll probably see more puzzle content. I haven't quite figured out what that means, but I love an unboxing video. It's one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. And so I thought I would share with you what I just got in the mail from Puzzle Warehouse. January 29th was National Puzzle Day, and I went a little crazy. Well, I guess not too crazy, but I got a big order from Puzzle Warehouse. Most of these puzzles are for my daughter. She's three. She loves doing puzzles with me. She can do 20-piece puzzles, just no problem, all on her own, and we're working on 48-piece puzzles together. She turns four in March, so I really upped on the birthday presents with her for lots of puzzles for her to do. I got a few for myself. My husband and I like to do 1,000-piece puzzles together, so I got something for that. The other order I placed with was with Gallison. That hasn't shipped yet, but I will show you that when I get it too. So let's look and see what is in this box because I'm so excited and quite honestly, I went through so many puzzles, I don't even remember what I bought. All right, at first is Ravensburger. This is three 49 piece puzzles um, with a Finding Dory theme. I like this one because even though my son, like. We don't do the gendered stuff. He plays with princesses. He loves to wear a tutu. He's also not even quite two years old. I like to have things that we can pass down with him without him being like, oh, so I get all of these, my sister's princesses. I want to have some more neutral things. And I feel like Finding Dory is very neutral. So, yay, fish. Up next, oh, this is a 64-piece puzzle. And this is by Eboo. I haven't done an Eboo puzzle yet. I'm really excited about this one. Both of my kids really like dinosaurs, so this is going to be a great one. Can't wait to see it. I'll probably feature a couple of these on the channel just to talk about, like, if the quality of them is good, if I recommend the brand. I've never done an Eboo puzzle, so I'm really excited about the dinosaurs. And about getting my daughter to do a 64-piece puzzle, because that really, I mean, it really starts getting to be more of a challenge of finding the inside pieces, finding the outside pieces. She's really starting to learn about what it means to do a puzzle. So I got another Eboo puzzle as well. This one is Otters at Play. It's also 64 pieces. To be quite honest, I think she'll like the otters, but really the otters are for me. I love otters. So I just thought this was so cute. I'm trying to keep that ring light out. So I got the ring light for Black Friday and I think it really helps the videos a lot. You might also notice I don't have glasses on. I have LASIK then, so I don't need them anymore. So no worries of ring light reflections, at least in the glasses, but on the puzzle boxes. So this is a 550 piece puzzle by USopoly. And this is one that maybe my husband would like to do with me. He loves video games and Zelda is one of the franchises he plays. So this is a map of Hyrule. I thought it was interesting. It might be a challenging puzzle though, because there's not a lot of color to go by. It's pretty monochrome. So what's next? Oh, this is clearly one for my daughter. This is another Ravensburger. This is a two pack of 24 pieces. These will be super easy for her. She'll be able to do them by herself. But Anna and Elsa are the heroes in our house. She doesn't have super long hair and all she wants is an Elsa braid. And an Elsa braid is one that comes over her shoulder. Her dad is so good at braids, but her hair doesn't come over her shoulders yet. So she's always a little disappointed about this. All right, so this is a 470 piece Seiko puzzle. I have done puzzles by Seiko before, I like the brand, but this is a shaped puzzle, it's in the shape of a turtle. I have never done a shaped puzzle, at least not as an adult, maybe I did as a kid. So, pretty excited to try this one out. Look at all those really beautiful colors, the under the sea theme. My husband and I scuba dive, so we really do like the sea theme. Our kids are both learning how to swim. Um, we really miss being able to go diving and go on vacation. I think everyone misses being able to go on vacation. So you'll notice the theme here, Anna and Elsa again. These are 49 piece puzzles, just like the Finding Dory ones. There's three of them. Um, we have with Sven and Kristoff, we got, um, oh gosh, I can't think of his name, Olaf. So she'll love these. This will be a birthday present and 49 pieces. She's getting to where she can almost do them, but this will be something we can do together. So that'll be a really fun time to spend together, which is something I love about the puzzles is that my daughter and I can do it together. And it's fun for both of us, because sometimes, you know, when you're playing with your kids, it's fun for the kids, it's not fun for the parents. Um, this is a 60 piece puzzle 
to kind of, you know, again, start increasing her puzzle difficulty. Another Ravensburger. Uh, Ravensburger is often held up as like the best puzzle, but I, I had mixed feelings with them. Sometimes they have a lot of puzzle dust and I end up sneezing a lot. Um, sometimes the pieces don't fit together as much as I feel like they should. So I'm really excited to see how these Ravensburgers with the smaller piece counts compare to the ones I've done in the past with like a thousand piece counts. Um, this is a 100 piece Ravensburger. I think this one was a really good sale price. So it's a Disney theme. That's Cinderella. Um, 100 piece is going to be a huge challenge for her. So, um, you know, it says for age six plus, she's turning four. I think she can handle it, especially with mom. Sometimes mom will hand her a piece that I know it makes sense, but I'll just say, hey, where do you think this one goes? And so she still has to find it, but I know it's going to be a piece that'll connect as opposed to one in an area she hasn't even started on. So I, I do help a little bit, and sometimes she doesn't buy it herself. The next one is a 300-piece puzzle by Pomegranate Puzzles. I picked this one because I just love the image so much. I actually really enjoy doing 300-piece puzzles. Sometimes puzzlers really just prefer the 1,000-piece, which is the level my husband and I do together. I usually have a 500-piece puzzle on the counter that I do a little bit each night. But since I do puzzles after I put the kids to bed, I usually only have maybe one to two hours in the evening. So I like a 300-piece puzzle because I can get the whole puzzle put together and done and then put away while my husband plays video games, and it's kind of our time to decompress in the evening. So that was quite the puzzle haul. Um, let me see. Can I count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 puzzles from Puzzle Warehouse. So excited. Can't wait to share with you what they're like. All right. Bye. See you next time.